Jeff. Oh, here we go. Checking it out. We're live across so many channels right now. All the screens. Can everybody hear me okay out there? Microphone check. It's clearly Ashley. <laughs> Ashley got a little raspy. I'm Ashley from work with my buddy Squeakers. I just got done working out. I got on new kicks. <laughs> That's my Ashley impression. What's up, Fanatics? Sully here, Funko HQ, in our studio, and we're here to show you some, not all, because that would fill up this entire table, but some of the Avengers in-game figures. We got some Pops, we got some PPKs, y'all know I like the PPKs, uh, here to show off today. Yes, this is the stuff we've already revealed, uh, but we wanted to give you guys a chance to ask some questions. We also wanted to give you a closer look. We've got the uh, cool multi-camera setup like we've been doing over the last few weeks, so I'll be able to put things over there and give you a closer look. Uh, so you guys follow along, watch, and if you have some questions, throw them in the chat on whichever channel you're on. We're on Mixer, we're on Twitch, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter right now. Uh, there are six of me just working away. So hopefully that means six times the pay, right? I'm going to jump in and show you guys some of the stuff that we've got, uh, starting with the pops. Got the Black Widow pop from Avengers Endgame. She is sporting the new suit. Personally, I've only watched one trailer where they have the new suits. I don't want any more, spo more spoilers, but I'm intrigued. I can't wait to see what this is all about. So I'm going to open up uh, Black Widow here for you guys, put her on the spinner so you can get a good look. She does come, stand alert, she does come with a stand, so don't miss that when you take it out of the package. I'm going to put her on her stands. Well, that's probably just me. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her to... Uh, to rock on the stand there. Yeah, there we go. And yes, I do take things out of box for photos and videos. Look at her go. Yeah, I love, I don't, I don't know what's up with this new suit, but it just looks cool. They've all had such unique looks until now. Now they all have, almost all have a standard look. We were talking about this before. I noticed that on some of the pops, Captain America or uh, Captain Marvel, she still has her own suit. There's a story there. I don't know what it is and I don't want to know yet. I want to know when I watch the movie. So while uh, she's making the rounds, let's bust out Nebula, who's clearly joined the team by the suit, right? Something I didn't see coming. I mean, we knew she kind of was around the gang towards the end of Infinity War, but I didn't know she'd be hanging out. Also, with a stand, stand alert on that one. And then I will replace... There we go. We got any questions so far as I go through unboxing these? Is there a Hawkeye? There is a Hawkeye or Hot Guy, as some people call them. Uh, actually, I'll jump ahead. We'll, we'll do requests. So Hawkeye, oh, I, well, I know something about this because I did read into it too far, but I'm not sharing that. I do notice his suit is different. Don't spoil it for people in the comments if you know what's going on there. Let's all just be surprised. So yeah, we've got Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner himself. I'm glad to see he's back. No stand for Hawkeye. He, do, he is sporting his, uh, his bow in this. So not like the trailer. I don't know why I'm fixing these boxes back. It's just what I do. All right, so let's see if we can get Hawkeye on the stand here. Sounds like he's in a court case. And these are, because it's Marvel, they are a bobblehead. Oops, someone just, just asked Yep, there you go. Read their mind. No surprise there. All Marvel, all Star Wars bobblehead. It's just part of the deal we have, uh, part of our, our license. We have to do that. So that's the way they are. I dig, uh, I dig uh, Jahakai's new haircut there. He's got the uh, shaved sides. It's pretty cool. Or is it just one side? No, both sides. So he's got a mohawk going. Uh, of course, Captain America. 
we can't have an Avengers movie without Captain America, at least for now. I don't know what's happening. I just. <laughs> Someone asked, um, they, they start a war machine, and we haven't gotten a war machine. We have not, but I see in the second row here something that looks an awful lot like War Machine. I don't think we've done a War Machine since. Uh, was that Captain America 2? It's been a while. Oh yeah, Captain America, and I, and I dig this too because he's still got his his helmet, his top on uh, from his suit, but then he's got the team suit on on the bottom there. Get okay, Captain. I'm writing strong hair games. People are saying the detail in the hair is amazing. Yes, just like uh, when we talk about Dragon Ball or some of the anime, strong hair game is just part of it. Uh, some of these are going to be exclusives too, but so far none of the ones that I've uh, that I've unboxed. We're getting close though. Oh. All right, let's go with one of my personal favorites, Thor. Sporting. Just asked if they could see Thor. It's, it's like you're reading their mind. I hate the game. <laughs> I, I I feel you guys. We're all we're all fanatics here. Uh, Thor got his new Stormbreaker, which is awesome. So cool. I just rewatched Infinity War and way to go, Groot. You know, I don't know. If, Let's see show of hands out there in the comments. Has anyone not seen Infinity War? And if so, why are you watching me right now? <laughs> what? Dima raised his hand. Have you really not seen Infinity War? What? No, yeah, he did. We watched it together. Was he asleep? <laughs> Alright, so we'll uh, we'll put Thor up in place of Captain America here. Hopefully that's not uh, any kind of anything to come. <gasps> yep, I love Stormbreaker. That is so awesome. He's got the short hair, he's got the scar, slightly different colored eye on that one side you might notice. It's like a gray matte instead of the typical black. I think that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to save the PPKs for a couple minutes there. You guys, I know you all love the PPKs too. Uh, let's talk a few, oh no, I saved the exclusive. I've got uh, Captain Marvel as well. Of course, there we go. Oh, you were zooming back and forth. So we got Captain Marvel. I know we just had her standalone film, but we've already got a new pop for her as part of Endgame. And as I pointed out earlier, maybe some of you just joined us, she's not wearing the team suit. What does that mean? What's that tell us? I don't really want to know yet. I just like to ask those open-ended questions. That way after the movie, you've got things to talk about. What is the meaning of life? Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe we'll figure out 42 after the movie. Oh, she's got a cool pose too. She's doing the this. Although she does it and looks way better than I do. All right, put her on there. Look at that bobble. Love it. All right, moving right along. We do have, let's see, are there any more of these mainline or are these all exclusives? Oh, we got all mainline here. I'm going to save the exclusives for the end. I'm just going to hide those behind that other exclusive. Oh, let's look at Hulk. Hulk is big in box. He's heavy. And yes, this is not a spoiler. I think all y'all could have figured out from any image online, Hulk does return. Look at the size of that fella. He is big, and a really cool pose. He's kind of leaning forward, so one of the feet is uh, like, like arched up, rounded. Very cool, strong hair game. There's even a little gray. You'll see on the spins when he goes around. He's even got a little gray on the sides. He's going gray. I mean, I can respect that. I feel what, I feel what he's going through. Look at that. That is amazing. That is one of the best molds we've ever done. I love that. When I say we, our artists. I had nothing to do with the mold on that. <laughs> I am not an artist. Uh, we've also got Tony Stank. I mean, Tony Stark. Wow. Whoa. I'm just, uh, I'm just channeling Stan Lee, the FedEx guy. Oh, Tony. How many Iron Man Tony Stark pops have we done to date? Anybody know that answer to that trivia question? I'm going to guess like 15? What's that? It is a good podcast question. It's a good app question. Get out your new Funko app, the all-new Funko app, and look up uh, Iron Man or Tony Stark and uh, see what our total is there. Yes, there might be a problem with the search. That's why you fill out the feedback, and then we get it fixed. All right, I'm going to put uh, Tony up on the stand, and it is listed on the box as Tony Stark, and that is Iron Man. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Maybe just because he doesn't have the helmet on. I'm going to leave that guy for last. We've also got Ant-Man. One of the greatest parts of the trailer shows uh, Ant-Man making a reappearance. I will not speak to any fan theories going on out there. Just going to leave that there. 
Again, like uh, Captain America, Ant-Man does have his uh, his normal costume top or uh, helmet on, but uh, he's sporting the team jersey, if you will. I'm going to replace Tony Stank there with Ant-Man. A lot of bobble. He's got a, he's got back weight too with those. What do you call those things? They're not ears. Antennae, Ante antennas, antennae. Uh, and then finally, another big in box fella here, uh, Thanos, wearing his full battle armor uh, and carrying not only the Infinity Gauntlet on his uh, on his left hand, he's got some sort of double-edged sword. Oh, that thing looks vicious. In his right hand there. Man, his team has cool weapons, him and Ronan. Yeah, that is awesome. So much amazing detail in that front and back. You'll see that when we get to the spinning here. Ant-Man off. The Mad Titan on. Cool. He is big. Look at that. Does he go off the screen? I just said, I want Cameron's shirt. This is Sully. Cameron's been at the gym <laughs> <laughs> and eating way too much. <laughs> All right, before we get to the exclusives, let's look at some Pocket Pop keychains. Uh, I do know there are some exclusives in here. As you'll notice, War Machine has a uh, sticker on there, and so does Rocket. Let's, uh, let's do them in this order. Let's look at uh, Captain America first. Captain America PPK with a really cool stance. Uh, should I leave this in box? I can't really put them on the spinner out of box. So I'll give you guys a closer look when it gets over there. Inbox on the spinner, yeah. He's got a really cool action pose, very much like the uh, the pop itself, just much, much smaller. Still sporting the, uh, the Captain America helmet and the team jersey. Put that on there so you can uh, see the front and then read all the legal on the back. I know everybody really looks forward to reading the legal every time. I, I have a side note on that one. Did y'all hear about the lady that won like 10 grand because she won her, uh, she won a contest? It was in the legal stuff on her new insurance oh, yeah. policy because she was the only person to read it. She actually won 10 grand. I have no idea who did that. Uh, Thor. Again, Thor, much like the pop, he's carrying Stormbreaker. He's got the team jersey on, still has the two colored eyes. Really good detail on this. Let me grab that for you. Show off that spin. We got Hulk. Hulk is, is a little more proportionate, same size as the others in the Pocket Pop keychain. I guess they'll stay a little more consistent. One, maybe one day we'll have mid-size PPKs. I don't know. That'd be cool. So Hulk still got the cool pose. We'll put him up here where you can see him. And then, oh, Thanos. Jeez. I don't know how we get that much detail in here. I'm actually going to take him out for a hot second. I want to see, can we make out all the detail on the gauntlet? How do I do that without damaging the box? I may not oh, take him out. If I can't do it, I'm not damaging this box. Well, the inbox collector. Nope, I'm leaving an inbox. There's, there's too great a chance I'm going to mess something up, so I'm leaving them in there. I'll let y'all get a, a, a hot look there at Hulk. Before y'all get around to the legal again, we'll do a hot swap. There you go. And then let's talk exclusives. We've got, uh, we've got this amazing Barnes & Noble two-pack of Hulk and Thanos together. That must mean something. I don't know what it means. They haven't told us. They just said put it in a two-pack, and so we did. That's, we follow instructions with Marvel. So uh, you got two amazing pops in there. I think they are identical to the ones that we have out of box, so no reason to unbox and show those. You just get them in a cool two-pack. Strong hair game, strong, strong shield game. And then we've got War Machine. Y'all asked for it. And Captain America. War Machine? Yeah. Never mind. I'm not going to show y'all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So we do have War Machine making the appearance for the first time in quite a while. It's an Amazon exclusive. Y'all notice that? Got the sticker right there. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Does that mean War Machine's going to play an even bigger role than normal in this film? Hmm. I don't want to know the answer yet. Pardon me. Oh, War Machine with uh, a rocket pack of some sort exposed on the left shoulder there, ready for action. Oh, this looks amazing. Really good color coordination between his uh, helmet and the new suit. Boom. So far, no drops, which means I'm the last one I'm going to have problems. Another great pose. Look at that war machine. So cool. And then finally, Captain America with another Hot Topic exclusive. I think this must be like the fourth Captain America Hot Topic exclusive at this point. Yeah, I, st I love them all. I think I have them all at this point. I've been collecting since the 
the early movies. Another. Yeah, yeah, reminder in case anybody just joined us, uh, Hillary has pointed out in the comments, this is not the entire collection. There are uh, pin toppers, there are mystery minis, there are a whole bunch more pops and pocket pop keychains, so many other things in this line. This is some of the stuff that we wanted to show you today. If we did it, the whole, it would take up the whole desk and I'd be here for an hour and a half. We got, we got other things to do. So Captain America, uh, this time, look at this, not in the team suit, just in his own suit. Does that mean something? <sighs> So many questions. You ask you, so what are your questions. I don't want to know any of the answers, but I do have the questions. So there's Cap. Let's see if we can, are we going to make it 100% without any drops? What? You can't say that at the very end. <laughs> Unbox a PVK. Yeah, the, uh, the last two will fall off. Yeah, unbox a PVK. If I can balance one of those up there, I've really hit the jackpot. Uh, we got Rocket, which right now says special edition, but this one was Walmart, he said, with a big question mark at the end. Is that what this was? Yes. Okay, I got it. Ah, I knew that. I was just testing Hillary. <laughs> and War Machine is Box Lunch and Hot Topic. A shared Box Lunch and Hot Topic. Yeah, so you'll be able to get it either. So Rocket, uh, we didn't have him in a pop over here. He's sporting uh, two guns like this. And I'll show you in the close-up here in just a moment. But there we get another Rocket. Boom. Just one left, no drops. So last one, War Machine, like we just said, Box Lunch and Hot Topic, shared PPK exclusive. Right there. What? <laughs> Somebody called that Pocket Rocket? <laughs> it's pretty good, whoever said that. Very good. Uh, War Machine looks great. Is this a different pose? No, same pose, and if you look real close, just up under his helmet on the side, you can still see he's got the rockets on his shoulder. Uh, just poking out there. Such attention to detail. I do not know how the artists make it that small and it still works, but it does. So one last look there at War Machine PPK. So we got this entire full line while I'm pulling this back out for you guys to see in the wide shot. Uh, do we have any other questions from anybody out there? Uh, aside from the actual film itself, because I haven't seen it yet. No one has in this group. Did everybody get your tickets today? Tickets went on sale. I did not get mine yet. I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to see it, but apparently it's not going to be on opening night now because uh, they crashed all the different, like, AMC and the different ticket sites today. That's, that's serious. Do you have a favorite in-game pop? Ooh, that's a good question. Do I have a favorite in-game pop? You know, uh, I'm going to go with Hulk. I really dig Hulk. I just, I just like the size. I dig that we're getting them back. I, Hulk hasn't really had a suit before, which is amazing. So he's going to join the team in the suit. That must mean something. I know, I know the comic book aficionados out there probably have a pretty good idea based on some previous stories. I don't want to know yet. I don't want to know any spoilers. I like to go in completely. So I'm shocked by everything that happens. I also noticed on their hands, and y'all probably saw it on the spinner, there's some sort of, is it a bracelet or something built into the suit? It looks like it's on the top of their hand that must mean something. Yeah. If you want to see the full line, the glams as we call them, uh, go to our blog, Funko.com, and then look at blog at the top. Or you can look back on our social channels from a few days ago. Scroll back to one was that Sunday, uh, early Sunday, like right when we were allowed to show you guys what was in this collection. We put it up that second so you could get in there and start ordering because these are out now. And when I say out, that means they're probably out for sale. They might be out online or they might be out, like <laughs> sold out. Uh, so that covers all the bases. They're out. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, order yours. Don't, don't be scared to pre-order or, or order from sites online. I know some people seem to only want to get them in person. There's plenty of websites you can order from too. Don't fear that. There's some, good, some companies do great shipping out there. Uh, so yeah, these are all out now. And if you want to see details on the others, go check out the blog. Uh, we won't have full 360 videos of them. Uh, but considering that they're out in retail now, chances are you can go to Instagram and see every side of these that other people have taken pictures of. Can you reenact a trailer? Yes, 
<laughs> you know, it's funny, not for uh, Endgame, but for Infinity War, I got to be in Hall H uh, when they showed the full trailer for that, and I came back so hyped afterwards. Uh, Cameron was, was finishing his day at the room, and I came in, and I was like, dude, I saw the trailer. And he's like, well, well tell me about it. So I reenacted that trailer for him, showing Thanos pulling the moon down the whole nine. But no, I've only watched the Endgame trailer like twice, and it was that early one where Tony's just talking to the helmet. I haven't seen anything past that, and I don't want to. Again, I want to be surprised when I go into the see the film. People want to know if there's going to be a part two with the rest of the line <laughs> unboxing. Another unboxing? No, I doubt it. I, since they're out now, I think this is pretty much it. We just wanted to, to show you guys some of the ones we had in hand. We, we've got them down in the store right now, too. Oh, yeah. These, not the exclusives, but the, the main lines. I guess the t shirt and pocket pots aren't out. Oh, yet. yeah. So those those t shirt packs with the PPKs, are, are they pint size heroes or PPKs? <laughs> PPKs look amazing. I love those. There's some really cool shirts in there. And I did see a lot of people commenting on that, which is good. I'm glad you guys are excited about that, and I can't wait till you get your hands on them. I hope, it's, uh, I hope they're there for everyone. I hope everybody gets a chance at them. Actually, I'm going to swap this out while we're talking. Is that still showing? We'll go back to Hulk. Any other questions? Uh, I'm sure you guys probably a whole lot about the product itself. Again, go check out the blog uh, for details, uh, for close-up images, those glams. I look over and I see myself on camera four separate times, all out of sync. That's a trip. A lot of people are asking when the um, pop and tease will be released because only one is out yet. That would be a good question yeah. that I don't know the answer yeah. to. <laughs> uh, maybe check with were those specific to retailers? Weren't they like Target only or? Check the blog. If it says it's exclusive to a retailer, then then basically we ship it to the retailer, and it's up to the retailer when they put it on sale and how they handle the sale. So check with them. Maybe ask them in social media and see if they'll answer you. I mean, I, I, even then, I'm, I'm sure that they have a difficult time nailing down exact dates and whatnot. It's got to be tough for a big company with hundreds of stores to facilitate that. Yeah. Any other questions? Nice. What's your favorite? Everybody put just, just one name. What's your favorite pop out of this series? I just kind of a little poll. We want to see what comes across there. Do you, are you with me and you do like the Hulk? Or is it Thor, or Ant-Man, Captain America? Let us know. I always think that's fun to see. And do you have an all-time favorite pop from all the Marvel, all the MCU? I have a few that really stand out for me. I really dig the uh, Falcon. That was a Hot Topic exclusive years ago. I thought that was very cool. A lot of people like Thanos. Mm -hmm. Thanos? Hawkeye. Yeah. yeah, it's so good to see Hawkeye back. Yeah, I have a fun War story. Machine. War Machine. War Machine. Oh, a lot of War Machine. Yeah, those seem, I'll put those two back on there. Uh, Hawkeye, I got to meet Jeremy Renner when he did his very first signing at Comic Palooza a few years ago. And I uh, went up to the table and I had a pop, but I had taken it out of the box and I had laid the uh, pop flat so he could sign the top. And, and he went to sign with a pen. I was like, can you do it with the gold one? I shouldn't have been picky, but I was. So he gets the gold one and he goes to sign and it's just that re weird, like very light line, almost like a silhouette. And he kind of looks up at me and he looks back and he goes, what do we do? And I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> and he goes, hold on. So he turns it sideways inside the side panel and that comes out better with the same pen. So I actually have a uh, Jeremy Renner Hawkeye Pop signed twice. Awesome. And I only had to pay once. So thank you, Jeremy Renner. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? He looked right at me like I was going to have the answer, which I thought was great. Let's show War Machine again. He seemed like a nice guy. Definitely smaller in person than I, uh, than I envisioned. He, he was on a pedestal and still was shorter than me on the other side. I'm not, I'm not calling him out. He was cut, but uh, definitely smaller than I would, I would have thought. Like he, I bet he's like similar size to Tom Cruise, who was originally going to be Iron Man. Did y'all know that? What? I didn't know yeah, they were, they were looking at him way back in the day. Actually, uh, we're going to be recording our podcast today for tomorrow, and we're going to talk a little bit about Phase 1 of the MCU, and I have some interesting behind-the-scenes, little-known tidbits that I'll be sharing. So for any of you who have not listened to the Funcast before, uh, maybe tomorrow would be a first time for you to jump in. That'll be Episode 105 of the Funko Funcast, which you can get across any of our uh, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify. We put it everywhere we can, and Funko.com. If you want to listen there, you can. All right, uh, go get them. They're out. They're out. Remember, I said it. They're out. So go get them. Thanks, everybody. Nerds Unite.